Hey everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning this morning. It is, um, uh, it's, t- it's Tuesday morning in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I know all over the world people's, uh, people, are, people are stressed and struggling. I'm going to give everybody a minute to come on here before we start talking. I hope you guys are having a great day. Good morning, Annie. Let me know where you guys are, or where are you guys watching from this morning. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Margie. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, so we got Missouri's here. We got some folks from Illinois. Elizabeth, good morning from Wisconsin. Uh, what part of Wisconsin, uh, Elizabeth, are you? And I was talking to somebody from Lake Geneva early this morning about what's going on there. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, Monique, good morning from New Hampshire. Hope you guys are well. Uh, Marlo, good morning. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Arkansas, let me know what's going on in your guys' neck of the woods. Were there any riots, protests, any uh, issues last night? Kathy from Australia. Good morning, Kathy. Or good evening, or good night, whatever time it is. Dina from Clearwater. I just spoke to somebody from Clearwater about an hour ago. Uh, we're going to be down there pretty soon on business. Hope you guys are doing well in Clearwater. Um, all right, I, I just, I just got to, I just, I just got to say this. Um, uh, good morning, uh, good night, uh, hello well, from Japan. Good night, hello Atlanta, hello New York. Um, all right, let me just say this. I just, I just got to say this. Um, we're being lied to, we're being distracted, we're being deceived, we're being, uh, misled and we're, we're, we're not focusing on the real problem. You guys, I've been trained and I feel like I'm an expert on helping find the cause of problems, right? That's what people come from all over the world to see me help them find the cause of their problems, primarily their health problems, right? Health is a balance, physical, chemical, and emotional, there's a couple other components that fit within those three things, but, but, but then we, we, we take a step back and we look at what's happening in the world today and we're treating the symptoms. We're going after symptoms. COVID-19 is a symptom. Race war, riots and protests are symptoms. You guys, we have a true problem going on right now and I want to address this. We're being distracted distracted. Things are happening that you need to know about that you're not going to be seeing in the fake news. And yes, it's fake news. It is malicious media that is perpetrating and misinforming you to push an agenda. And that's a fact. And I'm no longer going to be politically correct about it. I'm just from now on, you're going to get nothing but everything I know, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I'm just telling you right now. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to tell you the truth. Last night, I drove through O'Fallon, Missouri, where there was a peaceful protest. There were thousands of, of maybe hundreds, maybe a thousand, maybe a little bit. I drove through so quick. There were thousands. It was like, I remember when I was a kid in the main street in town, you know, like when you were a kid, there's a main street. And when they had like the parade go through town, everybody would line up along the main street right there and they would put their chairs out and they would, and they would sit and they'd be ready for the carnival or the parade to happen. Last night in O'Fallon, the citizens of O'Fallon stepped up and came out and they sat along the street lines of the main street there and they had their chairs and they wanted to see what was going to happen and they were there to protect their city. They were standing up when others weren't standing up with them and there were local police officers that were there helping as well and it was as far as I could see I haven't heard any reports of anything that was not peaceful so if anyone in O'Fallon can can tell me something different but that's a God-fearing gun-toting, conservative neighborhood. There was no problems. But yet last night in the city, in downtown, and five miles away from where I'm sitting right now, there were not peaceful protests. There were riots. They were burning our city down. The police officers did everything they could to stand the line and keep everything going. There were four, four, four police officers doing their job that were shot last night. Now, the reports this morning, none of them were killed, but they were shot, they were injured, they were doing their job 
trying to protect and serve the city that pays them to do so. That's not okay. Now, this is the way I see it, and I want you to think about this. We got the fake news that's reporting only what they want you to see. That's what's happening. They're only reporting what they want you to see. They want you to see violence. They want you to see hatred. They want you to see race wars. They want you to see people dying of COVID-19. They want you to see, uh, they want you to see uh, uh, portable morgues set up at hospitals that, that, are, that, are, that, that make you have fear. That's what they want you to see. But that's not true. The truth is something different. They're trying to deceive you. Ladies and gentlemen, the devil is a liar. And we're being lied to right now. I need you to understand this. You're being lied to right now. So wherever you're at, whatever's going on with you, I need you to join the movement of freedom, of peace, of love, of joy, of happiness. Because I'm telling you right now, social media is going to go black. There's no question. With everything that's happening with, with all the, the riots that are being organized through social media, with, with, all, with what's going on with, with Donald Trump, with President Trump and Twitter uh, and Facebook, it's going to be shut down. So I need you guys please to hit the share button so people can see this because people need to know where to go and what to do and where to get their meat, where to get their information because they're not going to, they're going to, don't get it from the fake news. You get the fake media that is feeding what I call the merchants of madness, right? The merchants of madness, the merchants of madness are people that are profiting off of what's going on right now. And there are people massively profiting off of your destruction, off of our destruction and our demise. And that's happening right now. And we can't stand oddly by anymore and take this. What are we going to have left? And then underneath that is the deep state that's controlling that. That's a fact. That is a fact. And then, and then there's even deeper stuff than that that I don't even know all about. But there's no way, there's no way that we're going to be able to stand this. You guys, if anyone thinks this is more than just political and power control, you're crazy. Where'd the virus go? It was gone like that. It was gone like that. All of a sudden, I was supposed to have a meeting this morning talking about next steps, our, our weekly meeting, next steps with, with our COVID task force. Guess what? It got canceled. Why? Because there's nothing to talk about right now. It's shifted. It's moved. Now, we started out with the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear came upon us all with COVID-19. We were scared of, to death, literally scared to death, literally scared to death. That's a spirit of fear. That's an evil demonic spirit. That is not, we are not fighting against people. We are fighting against spirits. This is spiritual warfare, everyone. And we need to bind together and come together now more than ever. We were coming together as a country during COVID-19. It was, remember everyone saying we're in this together? There was no white, black, brown, red, purple, green. It was none of that. It was all of us together against the virus. Well, I think that went a little sideways for the people that, that, that planned this. Yes, it was planned. It was all planned. The fear was planned. Everything was planned. It was propagated. Now listen, here's the other deal. Now we're in the spirit of hate. We're in the spirit of hate right now. We went from the spirit of fear to the spirit of hate. Now we're so scared. We're pushing people back into their houses. We're telling people to go back on lockdown. It's all about destroying your economy. Because if we can get enough people in the bread lines, if we can get enough people eating out of the hands of the government, and we turn into a socialist government, and guess what's going to happen? That's going to sway and swing enough votes. If we are, have enough people that, that hear from the government that are struggling and are hurting, and if they hear from the government saying, well, I know that you're not working. Let me give you $2,000 a month or $1,200 a month just to stay home. We'll give you food. Don't worry about it. But you got to vote for us into power. Do you see that? We're in the spirit of hate right now. We do not need this. We do not need this. We need to come together as men and women of the true living earth, the true living soil of this earth, come together and say, we will not take this anymore. We are getting played like puppets. We are pawns in a chess game. So we have the spirit of fear. Now the spirit of hate. Now my question to you is what's next? The best thing that you can do, I have a really good friend of mine who's a surfer and he loves to surf. And what he says is this, he says, listen, He says, I got to learn how to read the wave. I got to learn how that wave's going to break. I want to see where that break's going to, where that's going to be. And if I can't read that wave break, if I can't anticipate what's next, I can't get on that wave and ride that thing. And that's his best joy. Well, I'm telling you right now, you all need to be thinking, what's the next, what's the next thing? Where's the next break? What's going to happen next? It was the spirit of fear. Now it's the spirit of hate. The, The media cycle, do you guys know this? The average media cycle lasts about two weeks, maybe three max. So we have about another week and a half of this, what we're dealing with right now, spirit of fear, of of hate, of all this stuff going on right now. We have about two more, maybe three more weeks of this stuff. But here's the big thing. 
We have five. We have five months until November. We have five more months until November. We're going to have five more months of madness. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Every month there's going to be a new thing. What's going to happen next? Is it going to be the spirit of greed? Is it going to be, is it going to be the spirit of unforgiveness? Is it going to be, what is it going to be? What's going to be the next thing? This is evil. This is evil right now, you guys. We have got to come together and do what's right. We should do, we've got to do what's right. And we've been lied to. Look at this. I want to show you something. Can I show you something? You've been distracted the last week or so because of all this that's going on, this distraction that's been happening. Listen to what has happened that you don't know about. Number one, Stanford professor, Dr. Ioannidis. You know the Dr. Ioannidis that did the Stanford study? Do you know what that just recently came out last week and said? He said that the death rate, the fatality rate of COVID-19 is between 0.2% and 0.4%. That's either seven times less deadly than the flu or 2.8 times more deadly than the flu, depending upon what geographical area of the world you live in, what your age is, and what other comorbidities you have. Do you see this? Do you see what I'm saying to you? That's a huge thing right there. And he also said they've studied all the, the epidemiology. They looked at all the data and they've said that, listen, the people, this is only affecting COVID-19 only affected between 30 and 33% of the population which means that we do not need that 60, that it's 57 to 60% herd immunity to make this thing go away. It's gone like that. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Now, there may be some propaganda that comes out about a second wave, and I think they're probably going to play it off of the fact that, that, there's no, uh, that, that there were not enough people that were wearing masks at these riots and these protests, so that's going to propagate the next wave of COVID-19. No, that's not true. Who cares? It's still 0 0.2, 0 0.0, sorry, let me say it again, 0 0.02 to 0.4% death rate. The CDC says it's 0.26%, less than the flu. Five more months of weaponized media, five more months of fake news is coming our way, you guys. Do you see this? It's 2020, you guys. I told you 2020 is the year that you gotta see with vision. 2020 vision and clarity. Can you see this? You've got to see this. Hit that dang share button. This is a lie. You're being lied to. Spirit of fear still upon us. Spirit of hate on upon us. What's next? What's coming? You've got to keep your head on a swivel. For the love of God and country, please help. Check this out. Two, this came out just this last week. It was released a 2006 study. A 2006 study and survey written by the leading epidemiologist in the world said this. Lockdowns. Lockdowns, let me say this again, lockdowns are a throwback of antiquated disease models that should not be used to mitigate disease. Let me say that one more time. We knew in 2006, all the powers that be, the smartest of the smartest people, that, that the smartest of the smartest people out there, that, that are epidemiologists that study disease, you guys, they said that lockdowns, lockdowns are a throwback of antiquated, old Old science, old research that should be thrown out when used to mitigate disease models. It's not working. It didn't work. It didn't work. What else did they say in this 2006 study? They said there's no historical, says there, there are no historical observations or scientific studies that support the con confinement or quarantine of groups of possibly infected people for extended periods in order to slow the spread of infections. Did you hear what I just said? Please, you guys, please share this. People need to know this because they're not, they are not going to hear this on mainstream media. They're not going to hear this from anywhere. They're not going to get this from anywhere. We have to be the voice. We have to feed the people the truth. We have to. 2006 study, 2006 study also said, the negative, quant the negative consequences of large-scale quarantine are so extreme. Forced confinement of sick people with the well, which is what happened, which is what happened. That's why New York went crazy. That's why all these small, these large cities went crazy because they started putting people back inside when they were sick with well people. It says completely restriction of movement of large populations, difficulty in getting critical supplies, medicines, and food to people inside quarantine zones that this mitigation measures should be eliminated, eliminated from serious consideration. They said in 2006 that we should have never done this. 
Why are you not sharing this? Why are you not hitting that like button? Why are people not hearing this message? You guys, please, please, please listen. Check this out. This was just released again. Last 14 days, a study came out of doctors, doctors that are treating patients on the front lines. NYU, New York University says hydrochloroquine plus zinc plus azithromycin cut the death rate by almost 50%, by almost 50% of COVID-19 as opposed to just taking hydrochloroquine by itself. But the media has lost their mind, going crazy, letting the world know that Donald Trump is irresponsible for taking hydrochloroquine and zinc. No, he is not. The research proves that it works. Why don't you listen? Stop being feared. The the spirit of fear has controlled you. The spirit of fear has changed the way you think. The spirit of fear has changed the way you live your life. This is no longer about a virus. This has never really been about a virus. Now, as a doctor, we know how to help people. We know how to help get sick people well. We know how to prevent things. And I'm going to teach you all everything that we know and all the other doctors that we're working with now how to prevent these other problems from happening in the future because they're going to happen. We have five more months, five more months of craziness in the media, five more months that we have to deal with this. We're going to have to deal with this until November is gone. So what's next? What's going to be next? Keep your head on a swivel. What's next? Spirit of fear was upon us. Spirit of of hate is upon us now. And I agree with many of you. The spirit of greed is going to be coming next. There's going to be some type of greed. There's going to be a run on on supplements or there's going to be a run on food. There's going to be a run on on whatever. Um, It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Let me say this as well to all of you that that still would like to wear a mask. You're welcome to do so. That's fine. There's no problem with that. But the research has clearly shown that the masks are only to be worn, only to be worn by healthcare workers that are taking care of sick people that have been positively diagnosed with COVID-19 and have symptoms, period. The the New England Journal of Medicine of of May, um, yes, May, sorry, I forgot what month it is. May 23rd, New England Journal of Medicine came out and said that. Stop wearing them if you don't want to. Why are you forcing people to wear them in your businesses? Why? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Another bombshell discovery came out. The CDC's own website says this. The CDC's own website says this. The CDC's own website says this. The spread of COVID-19 is from person to person. You're not gonna, it's not aerosolized in the air. And, and it says this as well. Look at this. The virus, this is the CDC's website. The virus does not spread easily in any other way. So it doesn't spread on surfaces. It's not on toilet seats. Like remember when, when we were kids, when I was a kid, I remember people were so scared and so so scared about AIDS and HIV that they thought they could get it from a toilet seat or touching a plate that someone had used or a fork that someone else used. We know that's not true. We know that's not true. The CDC's own website says the virus does not spread easily in other ways other than person to person. The COVID-19 is a new disease and we are still learning more about it. It's spread. It may be possible for COVID-19 to spread in other ways, but we are not aware of it. They've looked at spreading on on countertops. They looked at spread on boxes. They look at spread on toilet seats. They looked at spread on everything. The CDC's own website says it is spread from person to person. Why can't our businesses be open? Why can't we go out without gloves and without masks? The spirit of fear, the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear is upon you. The spirit of fear is upon us. And now the spirit of hatred is upon us as well. These are evil spirits, evil demonic spirits that are not from this world, you guys. We have got to cast this away. And then an Ohio judge, listen to me, business owners. Listen to me, men and women of the natural world, men and women of the earth, men and women of the soil. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. An Ohio judge struck down a health department, the health department leader in Ohio. Uh, This woman, the health department leader, came out and said that she wants a complete lockdown in Ohio, wants a lockdown of her cities, wants a lockdown, a shutdown, wants everything locked down. The judge threw out her order and says the order is is irresponsible, oppressive, and arbitrary. And says that she has, the judge says she has no authority to do this whatsoever. 
So why are we still not opening our businesses 100%? Why is the world not back open for business again? Why is our country not back open for the business again? The science has shown that this is not a problem. Where is all the information about COVID-19? Where did it go? It was all over. You guys, I got, I got, literally, I got warnings from the attorney general's office about talking about this. I got uh, my, my, the medical boards in Missouri tried to shut me down and literally silenced me about talking about COVID-19. They, they tried to shut us down. Uh, we had uh, complaints from the FTC about talking about supplements. We never, ever said anything about curing or preventing or treating COVID-19 with supplements because in the United States of America, it is illegal. Listen to me. Let me hear you say let me hear you say this. It is illegal in the United States of America to treat any disease without drugs or surgery. Did you hear what I said? If a doctor treats cancer without chemo or radiation, they could go to jail and lose their license. If a doctor claims to treat a, a condition, even diabetes or high blood pressure or heart disease with vitamins and nutrients and lifestyle change, and that person gets better, even though that person can get better, that doctor can lose his or her license and go to jail. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? We need to understand this is a plan to control you. And I don't even think it's about money. I think it's about control. With, with control comes money, comes power, and comes everything. So we have the false media, the fake media, the fake media perpetuating all this stuff. You got to help share this, you guys. Where are you going to, has anybody seen this on the news? Was this on Fox News, MSNBC, CNN? Was this anywhere? No, it was not. And I get that, you know, people started, they stopped watching the media, didn't they? You stopped, you got tired of COVID-19 crap. You got tired of the lies. You got tired of the agenda. You got tired of all the stuff they were making up and you just started, you just go, this is ridiculous. So they had to get your attention again, didn't they? Didn't they? Well, how'd they do it? What are you doing now? You're watching to see your cities burn. You're watching to see where the riots are going to be next. You're listening on, you're on social media now to find out what's going on, where Antifa is going to be, where the next riots are going to be. They're burning down our cities. And for anyone to say this, of course, of course I stand with the people that are peacefully protesting. Don't you all know that I peacefully protested multiple times? We're, we're actually putting together a peaceful protest here for St. Louis, here for Missouri, in Missouri about freedom. We got to wait. We got to wait for the right time to do it because we don't want to be caught up with all this stuff. We don't want to be dealing with the BS and the ignorance that's going on in the world today. But for someone to say that it's okay to loot, riot, burn down because you're angry, because you're not being heard, that, that is also a spirit of hatred that is upon you. And, and, and let me just say this. When did it become okay for us to say that that's all right? That's not okay. Our, another one of our problems is tolerance. We are too tolerant. We are too tolerant and we are too tolerant about other people's feelings, thoughts, and emotions. We're, so, we're getting so tolerant to things that they're literally taking the money out of your pocket. They're taking the future out of your children. They're taking the food out of your mouth. They're taking the life out of your body because of tolerance. At some point, we have to draw a line in the sand and say enough is enough and we need to move forward. Do not be afraid anymore. It's time to speak the truth. Every one of us has been given a gift to speak the truth about what's going on. And every one of you that's on here right now, all 1,200 of us need to hit that share button. Please share this. They're not letting, social media is not letting you share this information. So let's stand up against oppression and let's share Let's share this. Let's save this video. Put it on every social media channel you've got. Print, download it and email it to your friends. You guys, if we don't do something about it, and if we don't do something about this now, it's over. It is over. And we lose. Please don't let everything that we've worked for go away. Please don't let, please don't let the deaths of millions and millions of people that fought and served for this country go away like that. Just as fast as COVID-19 went away. Oh my gosh. They're working so hard to destroy us. We have to bind together. Everybody needs to get back into church. Everybody needs to, to, to pray. Everybody needs to love each other, bless each other, and do random acts of kindness for each other. We need more random acts of goodness, more random acts of kindness. I'm calling right now for everyone to do random acts of kindness every day for people, whether it's buy their lunch, buy their dinner, buy them a coffee, say hello to them, take your mask off and smile. You guys, the spirit of fear and the spirit of hate is here. Keep your eyes on a swivel. We got five, your head on a swivel. We got five more months. We got five more months of crazy media. What's going to be next? What's going to be next? And they're not done. You guys, they're not done with COVID-19. They can't be because we spent too much money on it. We have, we're expecting three, 300 million doses of this vaccine to be coming out, which by the way, have you guys seen how they've taken away, they've taken away from the fact that the vaccine has caused serious harm to people. All the people that were getting it either got COVID-19, all the monkeys that they used for it got COVID-19. I mean, it's all crazy. It's all lies. We're all being lied to. You guys, please 
share this information. Please share this information. I don't know what to say other than you're not going to hear this anywhere else and it's up to us. Those of you, please take this message and you guys re-say it. You go on and say the same thing I'm saying. Please, because if we don't tell people that the fake media is real, that they're being lied to, people are slowly starting to wake up. We got to dose them a little bit more. I, you guys, we're, we're done with this. I, I, I'm emotionally and physically drained. You guys, I'm a, I'm just, I'm, I'm a human being. I'm trying to run my business, to take care of my patients all across the globe now. I'm trying to help my family. I'm trying to just, you guys, what are you doing to help? What are you doing to help? What are you doing to help? Do your part every day in every way. I got to get going because I'm starting consultations online here in about four minutes. But I just pray that you guys, I pray for peace, understanding. I pray for recognition. I pray for understanding. I pray for vision, clarity, clarity, clarity. I, I pray for, I pray for the, the world to wake up and see that we have a problem and that we are the solution to it. We, the people, are the solution to this problem. We are the solution. Stop listening to the fake media. Stop perpetuating hate. Stop living in fear. It's false evidence appearing real. It's not even real. It's fake, fake, fake. It's the fear news. False evidence appearing real. We have five more months until we have this election. November can't get here soon enough. You're going to have five more. The news cycles are two to three weeks long. No more. No more. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Please keep up the good fight. Please keep strong. Please keep sharing. Please keep the faith. Because with, with faith and facts, we can get rid of fear. And the media is the enemy. The devil is a liar. And fake news is real. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.